Welcome back to the channel, I am your host Kevster and today I will be covering my top 3 titans in war robots in 2022. Without further ado, let's begin with the third, the one and only first Icarus Titan, Minus. The Minus makes it on the third place because of various reasons. First, speed is very important in war robots, the Minus is the fastest titan currently in the game with its charge and ability. This makes the Minus strong because it is very easy to dodge enemy fire with the Minus. Second of all, Minus has great first and second abilities. The charge in ability allows it to not only dodge enemy fire, but also deal damage and push enemies back. For example, we can push the Mender away from our target so our target can't counter heal. This makes it easier for targeting one enemy and in some maps, push enemies in the water. The second ability gives the Minus a reflector shield, this is great because Minus could die easily since it's in charge aggressive Titan. A negative side of this robot is after the reflector is gone, Minus is very vulnerable to enemies and can die in less than 3 seconds when surrounded by enemies. My tip for playing this robot is to not charge into enemy base and suicide. But rather target left out enemies or titans and take them out one by one. Recommended setups for the Minus are, 3 cinders, 3 cyclones, 3 squalls, 3 crates, or 2 cinders and 1 squall. Here as you can see this Minus is not playing well, although he is charging in with his weapons and activating his reflectors, he did not notice I also have reflectors ready and therefore is surrounded by my entire team and taken down in 3 seconds. The reason why the Minus is on place 3 not 1 is because of its damage output, it only has 3 beta slots which is not enough to deal massive damage and as you can also see in this gameplay all my kills got stolen simply because it deals tiny damage. Next on second place we have the Aoming Titan. Now you might ask why not Luchador, Sharonga or Murmyats? Because the Aoming is a firepower beast with permanent flight and healing as its second ability. The best part about Aoming is the fact that it has the most firepower among all the Titans but at the same time it has healing and defense points, making it a firepower beast and durable at the same time unlike the Minus, this is why it score higher. The only downside Ao Ming has is its poor durability and is a bit slow. My tips for playing the Ao Ming Titan are to always fly to cover so when you receive damage you can land and dodge the damage. Also remember to dodge Hawks and Fafnirs, they can take you down in less than 3 seconds. Recommended setups are, 2 crates and 2 basilisks. 2 Lanterns and 2 Dazzlers, 2 Vengeance and 2 Retaliators, or 2 Bulava and 2 Kissins. If you liked my video, concern subscribing it would be much appreciated.
In this match I am running the Basilisks and Crates because they deal insane over time damage and direct damage, they are very ideal for brawling. Next off we have the number 1 Titan, the Muramiats. The reason Muramiats ranks number 1 is because it is an all-rounder, it has decent durability, insane firepower, stealth flight ability, EMP ability and decent speed. As you can see here with our stealth ability that Sharonga is not able to target us so he target the minus with his reflector. He got taken down in less than 5 seconds because of the massive firepower of the Muramiats with its massive dot. There is no downside of the Muramiats in my opinion and tip for playing the Muramiats is just to not get too close to the enemies. The Muramiats is very good for taking out titans and robots. I would recommend to use the Mantis battleship when playing the Muramiats because remember, the Muramiats does not have healing itself. Recommended setups, 2 Basilisks and 1 Crate, 2 Dazzlers and 1 Lantern, 2 Cataclysms and 1 Cyclone.
Alright, that is all for the video, concerned subscribing. Until next time, I am your host Kevster.